there is way more that meets the eye when it comes to the structure of pyramids. This is a Russian scientist called Alexander Golod. Sorry for my Russian accent. He ran experiments for the Russian military. By 1989 he had already built 17 pyramid structures made from fiberglass for the Russian military. They wanted to find out about the energetic principles regarding pyramids. So they ran many experiments by putting seeds, putting medicine, putting people within these hollow pyramids. And they observed some truly astonishing things. They put people in the pyramids who were suffering from viruses. In other words, people who were struggling to get rid of toxic overloads inside the body. Now after the patients stayed in the pyramids for some time, they found that the body's defense system actually enhanced. And many of the patients reported feeling better, feeling well, and actually were better themselves. They planted seeds in and around the pyramid and found a 30 to 100% increase in yield. Plants grew one and a half to three times as quickly than the control groups. Now I remember researching this a few years ago and I found different results and some of the articles that I was reading actually suggested that there were species of extinct flowers around that area and after Alexander Golod actually built these pyramids these species came back and they were uh, reinvented so to speak. But I have been trying to find these articles or anything that um, suggests this now and I just can't seem to find it or there is something more to it. And then in 1998 a huge storm actually blew down and destroyed his healing pyramid. Coincidence? I think not. Now for more information on the benefits and powers of pyramids check out this book Pyramid Power by Dr. Patrick Flanagan. He ran some incredible experiments that confirms everything Alexander Golod found in his experiments and it breaks down the science, the mathematics and all of that good stuff. And in Dr. Flanagan's book he actually found some very very interesting things. For example, he shaved with a blade several times and then placed the blade inside a small 6 inch base pyramid made of cardboard. After a time he tested the blade and discovered that it was sharp again. He continued to place the blade under the pyramid between shaves and discovered he could have 200 times with a single blade. And soon all his friends were sharpening their blades under the pyramid. I mean that's some intense stuff. I definitely recommend reading that book if you're interested in this kind of information. And research into Alexander Golod's experiments, they are very, very telling.